Hey guys, it's Karen. Today I am going to be opening up uh, a Mercari find and I really like how it came in this purple um, mailer and it was wrapped so nicely. So let's see what it is. And yay, I have more tissue paper for sewing if I need it. Or to copy patterns on. Or to reuse in mail. Thank you stickers, very pretty, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I'll do with it. I'll stick it over there. All right. See what we have in here. My fingers are sore from hand sewing. It, it smells. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed this. It doesn't smell badly. But this uh, package has a smell to it. Um, like I don't use perfumes or anything like that. This smells like somebody's, somebody else's fragrance. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Sometimes you get packages, they don't smell like anything. And sometimes you get packages and they smell like the people that sent them. Uh, it does, it's not unclean or anything. It's just, okay. So what this is, is a Barbie um, pants and top. Now I am trying to be better this year about buying less dolls and buying more things for dolls. Um, I don't know if these are, this was very cheap. I thought they were very cute. It looks like they're Chinese. Like they are from AliExpress. Um, I think I paid I paid two dollars for them for this plus shipping. But that was reduced originally. The seller had wanted more, um, and it looks like they are for the modern Barbies, not the new Barbies. So I mean, not the vintage Barbie. Um, from the picture of the doll they had it, they had it on a Millie. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say, I don't think I have any dolls over here, but I do. So I put, ha I have half of my dolls over there, over the other side. All right, let me grab somebody, a regular Barbie body. Let's just grab, <clears throat> we will grab this, this is the, oh, what doll is this? This is... She's not on Made to Move. She is a, she's the collector doll, signature, stony, something, something doll. Um, I think she's very pretty. I did not get her in her outfit. I got her as like, I got her and the Lucy doll um, together without their clothes. So um, let's see if this fits her on the regular articulated or on the, I don't know what you would call this. Just the, I guess regular articulated the one that the extras come on. Um, we put these on her. So I think Millie's very pretty. I don't try to buy a lot of them, but so these look like they're gonna fit really well. They're a little bit rumply, but that's okay. The material is nice and sturdy. Um, I think the top is cute too, but I really liked the pants is why I picked this up. Oops. The stitching in there is a little bit loose, so caught on her thumb. I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm doing here. <clears throat> 
So yes, that is my goal for the next year is to start spending money on accessories, fabrics, and craft items and less on, I have enough dolls. I mean, I don't, no, I don't, and I'm going to have more coming. Don't let, sh we don't need to talk about that. But what, <laughs> the point is, is that I need to, until this room is clean, um, that my situation with my dolls, I don't have, I can't display them as well as I'd like. So there's no point in getting any more. And most of them are naked because I get them used. Um... And I, I really would like to spend more time playing with them, actually dressing them up. So, and I can't sew as fast as I can. So instead of buying, spending the money on the dolls themselves, I'm going to spend money on the outfits for them. But this is actually quite cute. Um, yeah, it's very cute. I'm happy. Um, so yeah, I got a deal on that. And what do you guys think? Do you think it was worth it? I do have some AliExpress Barbie clothes in my cart. Lots of them. Um, that I would like to try to get, pick up and try out, do some hauls, see how they look, see what the quality is. Um, she doesn't want to sit straight at 90 degrees. I think Ellie Neffert's always complaining about that. They don't, these articulated bodies kind of lean. They don't sit completely at a 90 degree angle, um, like the made to moves can. Now let's try this on a... Pardon me. Let's try this on a blight. Um, let's just see. Let's see how well it works. So I have Cassie here, Cassandra. Let's see what it looks like on a non. Thank you, Millie, for helping us out here. Uh, let's see what it looks like on a an A zone blight body if it would fit. And yeah, don't mind this outfit. This is not a matchy matchy outfit. I was just trying to get her dressed that one day. Like I said, I don't have a lot of clothes for my girls. Um, and I want to remedy that in the new year. <clears throat> So we'll see how well this AliExpress shirt fits an A-Zone body. If you guys watch my froggy stuff, she always does. Will the fit fit? Where she tries things on between swaps between like Rainbow High or and Barbie and stuff. Does the fit fit? Oh, well, it, it does fit. I mean, it's not quite as perfect on her but it, you can get away with it and I don't know about these pants I'm gonna guess no but we'll see we will see they're gonna be too long the foot is sticking in the hem will it get up over her waist yes Um, a little bit big. The pants are a little bit big, obviously. Uh, I don't mind the bagginess at the bottom, but they are too too loose in the waist here. And the last thing I want to try on, it, I want to try this on. Okay, so we see that this Barbie outfit. You could probably get away with a shirt. Um, you could even like turn it on inside out and make some um, boob darts right here to have it fit better if you really wanted to if you wanted to buy like a cheap AliExpress top but I wonder what it would look like on um, I'm going to try it on the regular stock body style just to see I'm sure the pants are going to be ridiculous but um, I'm going to try the top because their shoulders are different on the stock body I have this body here and we will see obviously the pants I'm not even try the pants what I'm really interested in is the shirt will the shirt work will the shirt work better Let's 
so it kind of they have a little bit of a broader shoulder but so it sort of works a little better but again it's not perfect um you could like i said you could tailor it to get it to fit uh put some darts in the front you know turn it inside out so some darts and then you'd have like a work but you see like how low the shoulder like yep let's put this back on millie so she's not naked and we'll end the video So let me know in the comments below if you're like me. Are you, do you feel like you, okay, I don't feel like I have enough dolls, but I feel like I need to focus on items for my dolls rather than more dolls right now. Do you feel that same way or um, are you like heck to the no? I am all about more dolls on my shelves. Um. I don't, I'm not the kind of collector that just likes dolls and I just want to keep them. Well, it's kind of off the shoulder here too. That's the way it's made, but it is cute on her, isn't it? It still doesn't, it's still not hundred percent tailored perfectly, but it's good. It's cute. I had to go rate the seller and I'm going to give them an excellent score. Item packaging was good. Shipping was super fast. The packaging was very nice. And the item is as described. So already though, I can tell getting her in and out of this shirt, I'm going to have like threads coming apart and stuff in here. But other than that, oh, these pants are the score. Um, they fit really nicely on Barbie and they are very versatile. They could go with lots of different tops. So keep your eye out on Mercari and eBay for clothing deals and, um, if you want to see me try to dress more dolls, subscribe for more. Millie says, bye.